So it's not an understatement to say that every commentary creator I've seen has probably made at least one video on this, most of which hitting the YouTube pipeline within the first few hours after this information came out. Now I knew right off the bat I had to get some sort of a deeper look into this whole thing because after all there is a chance that Boogie isn't isn't lying. And don't you worry at all, by the end of this video it'll all be explained as well as some brand new stuff from a brand new episode of the LolCal Live podcast that came out today, which is the day that I'm recording. So let's talk about the bare bones stuff first. For starters, let's quit talk about Boogie2988. Just real quick, he was a old school YouTuber made stuff about this character named Francis, which is just this like angry, over dramatic fat guy, and he absolutely blew up from it. He dubbed himself the Mr. Rogers of YouTube because he was genuinely a nice guy. He was always open about his YouTube money that he was getting from AdSense. He was open about his real life dramas and stuff, and he just connected to his audience like no other YouTuber really did at the time. People genuinely loved him, but now now, as you may have noticed, I said he was on the LolCow Live podcast, and if you don't know what a LolCow is, it's essentially somebody on the internet that is just constantly embarrassing themselves, and in the last five years, Boogie has definitely earned himself the title of a LolCow through the different things he's done. Now, the big one, the, the reason we're making this video here is because Boogie himself, a couple years ago, came out and said the struggles of cancer and, and, and talking about this cancer that he was dealing with. About some of the videos I've made in the last month or so um because well you remember about three weeks back I said that I likely could potentially have a form of cancer <sighs> turns out I got a rare blood cancer called polycythemia vera which basically makes your body produce too many red blood cells and then we get a pseudo political streamer named destiny who destiny is a very good debater it's up to the viewers interpretation of if he's smart or not i personally think he is i don't watch a lot of his content though but he does do a lot of research about whatever he's talking about so somebody mentioned to him that they think that the boogie 2988 cancer situation is absolutely false he's just straight lying about having cancer. Now you may be wondering why would anyone even be bringing up his cancer if this was news that hit the internet two years ago. Just this year in 2024, Boogie was involved in a crypto scheme. Basically what had happened is somebody had offered Boogie a generous amount of money, I think it was between five to ten thousand dollars, to promote this scam crypto coin called Fatty Coin, which you know pumped it up very very inflated prices and the people who originally paid Boogie off to do this pulled out on purpose leaving the actual fan base of boogie who could have invested money or whatnot just absolutely lost they got their money pulled from them they got the reputation tarnished of anybody who supported boogie in that regard it was just bad and again boogie was paid to do this and he knew this was a scam from the beginning now the reason that this is linked to his supposed cancer is because he used it as a scapegoat to why he needed to do this scam so bad in the first place was to scam for cancer treatment money so coffeezilla investigated a little bit into boogie especially with the crypto scam because you know that's coffeezilla's whole thing. There's a video I just did on him actually in the Logan Paul lawsuit, which you should definitely check out after this one. It'll be in the description. Anyways, CoffeeZilla decides to investigate Boogie for the initial crypto scam in which Boogie uses his cancer to CoffeeZilla as a example of why he had to do the scam. A YouTuber we accused of a crypto scam just got accused of faking cancer which is annoying because publicly he uses his cancer as a shield from any wrongdoing. In fact, when I confronted Boogie on his crypto scam, that's one of the reasons he used. I'm in pretty dire need of money. Uh, I have a lot of medical bills and I'm fighting cancer. And more specifically, why he had to promote the coin and couldn't pay back $5,000. The money's already spent. That's it's, it's, at, it's at Mercy Hospital right now. It's gone. I used it to pay debts. That investigation itself kind of goes mini viral. A lot of people are talking about it. And so someone sends it over to Destiny saying, hey, not only did Boogie do this crypto fraud everyone's talking about, but I also think he's lying about his cancer. So Destiny takes that as a, I guess, personal challenge and starts chugging down the information for this type of cancer, supposedly, that Boogie has called polycythemia vera or polycythemia. I can't pronounce it, but it's basically a rare form of blood cancer. Now, one thing I want you to know before we go too far down is there's two different things. Things. There's polycythemia and polycythemia vera. The vera is the version with cancer. It's like a stage two or like a final boss of polycythemia. Polycythemia is a little bit more common in people who don't take care of their bodies, but the version that is not the vera version is not cancer. That is going to be important as you watch these clips. Just keep that in mind. 
that I don't wake up that sucks. So I've been debating for a while to talk to you guys about this, but I hope it brings you guys a little bit of clarity about some of the videos I've made in the last month or so. Um, cause I've been dating or I'm debating talking to you guys about this. Wait, what did he say in that tweet? November 15th, 2022. This video was posted November 15th, 2022. In the tweet, he says, I got my official diagnosis today. Then how could he have been making videos because of this thing or being affected by this thing in the last couple months? But okay. Now, as you can see right off the bat here, there is no guys, I could have this cancer or guys, I'm worried once I get the tests, I'm going to have this cancer. Boogie, a whole year ago, confidently says I have this rare blood cancer. The content creators, YouTubers, fans, friends, even people that don't even like me have had nice things to say and I'm really grateful. Thank you. I have a favor to ask of those people though, and I'm sorry to have to ask anything, but uh, I see the rumor mills creeping back up again. The same rumor mill that's accused me of God knows what else. And this time they've decided that I am faking my cancer diagnosis. And whereas I know that those people know better, I know that nobody's that fucking stupid. It's still gonna spread like wildfire. So number one, if you're that kind of person, fucking stop. I get it's fun to LARP about me. I get it's fun to pretend that I'm a piece of shit. And I get that I made my mistakes in the past. But cancer's not something to pretend about. Cancer's not something to joke about. Cancer's not something pretending that I'm lying about cancer for clout and views. Is he is absolutely lying. What a piece of shit. Unless he posts something in here to prove it wrong. A fucked up thing to do get help now we can also see here that even a year ago almost two years ago boogie was getting already suspicions and backlash of people who didn't quite believe the story he was putting out as there was no proof because like i said in the beginning of the video boogie has always been very open with his audience he talks about childhood trauma his weight problems he talks about all this openly but this was the one thing that he never backed up even back two years ago so destiny compiles up his research and even brings it on and talks a little bit about it in a different podcast and while they're doing this podcast they see that the show that boogie is a host on that keemstar owns called the lol cow live is actually live in that moment so destiny asks if he can join and ask boogie some questions now just a quick little tidbit the lol cow live podcast was made originally and it wasn't doing insanely hot at first for being probably as much money as they're spending to have like boogie and wings of redemption on the show and you know as well as some other regulars so keemstar i would assume Assume, there's no like you know obvious proof but i would assume that keemstar absolutely full jumped to this to this proposition i'm bringing a a buddy onto the show you are not gonna fucking like this yeah i didn't think i would okay boogie two four eight eight you are being confronted tonight Go ahead. i am 99 sure <laughs> that you are you are faking no don't move all. you are faking your cancer diagnosis boogie Okay, let's hear that. Let's hear that. Anyways, Destiny and them joined the stream right away, and it is kind of cringe because Destiny does mess up Boogie's name right off the bat, which isn't something, you know, that, that makes you your case super confident, but it's just one number in the name, I guess. I just don't know how you don't know who Boogie is. It's kind of crazy. Let's hear that. Did the doctor ever tell you, or did he ever say the word cancer? He said polycythemia vera, which is a form of cancer, as he explained it to me. And no, it is not secondary polycythemia, polycythemia which is Nicholas Diorio's explanation for this bullshit. So I think it is secondary polycythemia. Um, can you explain? Well, why would he call it? Why would he call it polycythemia vera? Why would he tell me that I have hormone mark markers in my blood that tells me I have polycythemia vera? Why does he order a bone uh, marrow uh, biopsy to confirm it? Uh, well, if he ordered a bone marrow, b bone marrow biopsy to he confirm misspoke. it, it would be weird that you told us that you already had a diagnosis and a confirmation. If because it the markers good. are in my blood. The hormone markers are in my blood. Correct. Destiny. But you said that you'd received a diagnosis, but now you just told me that you got a, a bone marrow biopsy to it's confirm. It's a diagnosis, and now we're confirming. Sure. It's called a confirmation. I, the, so, the hormone markers are already in my blood. Yep. So I think what and happened is, Boogie, based on everything... Biopsy yeah. Because I'm wanting to do that, because I'm praying to God I don't fucking have cancer. He doesn't I'm care. I'm praying yet. to God I'm taking the one in a million fucking chance that they're fucking wrong, and that there's another reason <laughs> that I have the hormone, uh, the hormone fucking uh, imbalances in my blood. Yeah, why are you praying to God two years after you said that you have cancer that you don't have cancer? 
So here you see Boogie saying, I pray that I don't have cancer, that they were wrong. And I want to play devil's advocate while also, I guess, a regular advocate because one yes boogie could be correct he could have had some sort of formal informal diagnosis saying hey we strongly think you have polycythemia vera uh all the signs point to it you know we're going to really you know drill in some tests to make sure and boogie could be like okay they're like 90 percent confident or whatever that i have this polycythemia vera and i'm praying to god that i don't but i think even that is a little self-admittance that he was never diagnosed with it like he said in a tweet like he said in a video and like he used as an excuse to scam a probable good amount of his fan base. Because two <laughs> years ago, because two years ago, they told me I have polycythemia vera based on the fact that I had increased uh, red blood cell counts, increased hemoglobin, and the hormone markers in my blood. And it all spelled pretty definitively that I have this. And so he wanted to get a bone marrow biopsy, but it is intrusive and expensive, so they decided to forego it. I would like to still get it done because I am hopeful, <laughs> I am praying that there, there's a fucking merciful God of the world that would be willing to fucking let this be wrong, even though it most certainly is not. So why are you talking about expensive cancer treatments if they don't even know if you have cancer? That nothing has been confirmed because yet. It's been two years. they're treating it, dipshit. They're not, how they've are they been treat treating it for two fucking years. How are they treating it, Boogie? Blood test, blood thinners, bloodletting, medications. Blood They're mm -hmm. trying to get my weight Correct. down. Yes. I'm seeing the doctor every three fucking months. I'm doing blood tests mm -hmm. every fucking month. We're we're doing it. We're. Uh, yep. So they don't so know if you have cancer or not. So like, can I understand? hold my fucking hand. Well, sure. So I mean, I can explain. So I can explain. Oh, I, so I can explain everything, right? So right. Boogie has a condition Go called right polycythemia, which uh, means there's an elevation in his. Polycythemia vera. No. Polycythemia vera. Fuck you, fat fuck. I want to hear the guy who actually knows polycythemia something. Polycythemia vera. Yes, he knows ahead. more about my fucking medical yes. diagnosis yes. than I do. I hear it. Well, I'm right he, the fuck ahead. I was in the fucking room. My girlfriend was in the fucking room. <laughs> and they told me, so go you right are the fucking ahead, screen. Destiny. Go right the you fuck are. ahead. So. I think that Boogie was told that he has polycythemia, which means he has an elevation of his red blood cells. Now, there is a cancer known as polycythemia vera, which is caused by a mutation in some part of your body that causes an elevation of three different levels of things that you'll find. One of those is uh, the red blood cell count. Um, however, when Boogie was talking about the polycythemia, he mentioned a couple things that I thought were interesting. The first was that taking an exogenous, uh, an exogenous hormone, TRT, test testosterone that that caused a increase in him developing this condition so taking uh taking testosterone will not cause you to develop a cancer that is that for not for this particular cancer it won't it will cause you to develop secondary polycythemia and the second thing that he mentioned was that his doctor ordered a sleep study that's because one of the things that can cause your body to produce more red blood cells is if you have hypoxemia which is an, a lower count of or a low amount of oxygen in your blood for an extended period of time and the reason why he ordered mm -hmm. that sleep study is probably because boogie either has uh either uh, pulmonary obstructive uh, something or he has as he mentioned sleep apnea and sleep apnea which is a decrease in oxygen overnight can lead to a decrease in oxygen in your blood which can lead to an increase in the production of red blood cells all of the things right. that boogie described both the things that cause this and the treatments for it are consistent with secondary polycythemia um, none of these yeah. are consistent with cancer and the fact that he's saying that he's they've now ordered a biopsy cook, two cook, years cook, after cook, he oh, wait, wait two years after wait, wait, let me just finish real quick wait, 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 Real quick, wait, real quick. He's not okay. He's not yeah. Yeah. two years ago, you said that you had a cancer diagnosis, but now you've just I said did. now they're doing a biopsy to check for cancer. Confirmation, confirmation, confirmation. Is this house Destiny. MD? Are we treating? Are we treating a blood cancer without actually show. confirming it yet? For two years, you've been being, you've been having a cancer treatment without confirming there's actually cancer there. Because it was in my blood markers, and that's pretty goddamn definitive. You can Stop. Google that, Destiny. <laughs> when you, when you, know. you have the hormones, when you have the hormone in the blood that is produced by this cancer, it's pretty goddamn definitive. It doesn't show up for just the shit sakes of it. Can I can I can I say something real quick? Yes. Look, you have all you have you have all, you, you won't keep saying you're the patient. You know what you have. Your body has. Yes. But doc, when I go to the doctor, they give me shit like this. Yeah. Which is like papers. Because I was gonna say, Boogie can end this whole thing. Exactly Show me a single diagnosis. document with polycythemia vera on it. You don't have one. I don't think the doctor ever diagnosed you with it. And can, I, I, can I ask you something, Destiny? Is it possible that when the doctor was seeing him, they were asking you could have this, you could have polycythemia? 
cythemia, if I'm saying it correctly, or polycythemia vera, but you like don't have the cancer version. version. You have this version. Correct. There so is own polycythemia. I'm there asking him. I'm asking with... him. Is, is it, it could be like a, a loss of translation type situation? Yeah, yeah. So no. polycythemia just means you have an elevation of red blood cells. That's all that means. Your red blood okay. cell count is high. And so I think you can it, just be fat and sleep apnea can create Sleep that. apnea could do it. Yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, that could cause it. And the fact that Boogie said, we knew that when I was taking TRT, this was a risk of that. That means that that risk is to develop secondary polycythemia. That was the risk, and then that is what ended up happening, unfortunately. But it's not cancer. That was induced because of just a low oxygenation of the blood. So where, why, explain to me, Destiny, why there are markers, hormone markers in my blood that have tested positively for poly polycythemia vera. Explain if there was, shit. then he wouldn't Just have... Just one of your medical years. papers, dude. Yeah, I'm never showing any of these motherfuckers my medical papers. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I, I said that two it. years ago, and I'm staying by it now. Destiny, Jackson, Clark, Keemstar, you can see it when I fucking die. It's my fucking it's goddamn right medical there. record. It's, I've like given you, you every wrong. goddamn phone <laughs> call. I've given you every fucking text. I've given you... It's never made a single goddamn thing better. I'm not gonna fucking do it. Go fuck yourselves. You could Go easily end yourself. this right now by just showing... I would rather you motherfuckers... I would rather you motherfuckers continue to lie. I would rather you motherfuckers continue like Okay, well, no, no, here's, a, here's an easy question. The last goddamn thing, uh -huh. the last goddamn you're the one, thing, you're the, the one last piece the of fucking thing. security I have in the fucking world. Okay, so this is the most foreshadowing event I'm going to show you for later. Boogie, for whatever reason, like I've said a couple times in this video, for whatever reason, uh, he usually tells every ounce of his life to the internet. And he even kind of says it here at the end of, of his little spiel there. But for this, for this specific thing, which these he's shown past medical records, he's talked about how bad his medical portfolio is. But for whatever reason, for this specific instance, for polycythemia vera that he claims to have, he refuses outright no. No, he will not show anybody that specific diagnosis on his medical records. Can I, can I ask Boogie, is it possible that you just jumped the gun on um, releasing your diagnosis thing? No. You don't think you jumped the gun a little bit? <laughs> Anything is possible, <laughs> sure. So quick, we're going to talk about what XQC just said, which why you would have XQC in this conversation is absolutely beyond me. But XQC's theory or question is, hey, is it possible you jumped the gun and you didn't backtrack maybe out of embarrassment or, you know, maybe you just never backtracked, but you, it, nonetheless, you thought you actually genuinely had cancer and tweeted about it, made a video before genuinely having cancer. Uh, this is something I just want you to keep in your mind because it will come up multiple times. I, I just don't want understand why you won't just go grab a piece of paper and just disprove them because like, i don't have all these feelings they have, they he has have nothing with those words on it number two and like i said a year ago when these mother Tried to hold, get hold, hold, with. hold on, hold on. This is the this one is, last thing I have excuse, left. The motherfuckers were in my marriage. You guys were in everything else. You're in every aspect of my life. Fuck you. Let Who me is, have one goddamn What you, you're trying to tell me is I have a cancer. I tomorrow. That's not weed. Boogie lies about cancer than to hand this shit over to you pieces of shit. That's it. That's just. I'd rather do that. I'd rather do that. Go ahead and print it, Dick Turtle. Go ahead and print. Can you get your patient portal up on your phone and like send it sure. to Tommy? And I'm not going to. He's, ne he's sure, never doing that. He does not, not have a cancer diagnosis. There is zero percent chance that he has one. Every remember, every leading thing for this cancer diagnosis the doctor talked about has to do with secondary polycythemia. Mm. The sleep apnea was a contributor to that, and the TRT oh, was for, a contributor oh, to that. Oh, except for the hormone markers in my blood. Except for yeah, but if you had hormone blood. markers for it, that's either a definitive diagnosis, in which case you wouldn't yes. be getting a biopsy two years later, or it wasn't definitive, and you would get an, you would have gotten a biopsy two years later instead of saying they're treating you for cancer for two years. You just said before that you All don't right. have the money for extra medical stuff. If they don't need that test to confirm cancer, well, why just, would you spend extra about, money on a biopsy you don't need? I don't know if you heard of this, Destiny. I just got a bit of a windfall. Ooh. Might have heard about it. Yeah, you may have Might heard, have heard of it. We have, what's yes, that, we, what's, what's a windfall? He did a ten thousand dollar crypto scam, uh, yeah. using partly yeah. his. Uh, cancer thing as an excuse for why he needed to scam his fans and I know boogie's kind of using this as like a excuse of I didn't need to take people's money for this cancer because I just got a windfall or whatever you know from from scamming but see that it's just a loop it's a never-ending loop with with boogie because he says I just got this windfall keep in mind all snarky and and very mm, 
disrespectfully, but he says, I just got a windfall, which loops back to him, you know, using his cancer diagnosis and treatment as an excuse to why he had to do the quote unquote windfall. And see, there's the loop. He's saying, I don't need the money from saying I have cancer because I just scammed. But then when confronted about the scam, it's because he has cancer treatments. You know, you see that's, that's like Boogie's whole thing is he just goes around and around and around until eventually people forget about whatever controversy he's a part of. And now, and now, and now you're being confronted. Exactly and now you're being exactly confronted on one of the biggest lies on internet I history. I don't, I don't I can't do it. And you won't prove it? No. <laughs> You won't no. prove it. I'd rather if, you go ahead and print it. Print if it. this is true, ahead, if this it. is true, and you lied ahead, about cancer, it. this is the biggest scandal on the f internet. And it's not, but go ahead and print it anyway. Biggest scandal. Go ahead and prove print it anyway. No. I pretty much prove it. None of you motherfuckers. Fucking prove it. I said this two years ago, and I'm not doing it today. Go right ahead. Print it. Print it the way it is. Go right ahead. <clears throat> print it. Run it. I'm okay. okay with that. So I guess just to wrap up, because we don't want to take all you guys' time tonight. So just as a couple things, right? So the story as laid out, if you look up secondary polycythemia versus polycythemia vera, all of the leading things that Boogie talks about leading to his condition are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not the mutation that would cause polycythemia vera. The things that Boogie says that his doctor wants him to check for afterwards, like doing a sleep study, are consistent with secondary polycythemia, not primary polycythemia. And the fact that he says, I'm almost done. The fact that he says that he had the blood markers or something to confirm it two years ago, but is now getting a biopsy for secondary confirmation, even though he says he doesn't have the money for medical bills, but I guess now that he does have money, he's going to waste all of it on biopsying things that are already confirmed or at least confirmed enough that he wanted to talk about it publicly for two years ago and then use it to fundraise the money that he now has so that he can do the biopsy that I don't even think he's doing, by the way. I don't think he's actually doing that biopsy. I think that's a lie as well. And if he wanted to just come. If you wanted to disprove it, all he has to do is show a private party this uh, particular right, medical me, thing, and uh, yeah, and it would be and I never that's will. also fraud. Just, just, just fraud. To Listen. summarize, to summarize, Jesse, you're basically saying he's kind of unlucky; he doesn't have cancer. <laughs> Um, I mean, for this particular case, yeah. I mean, if he wants, here, I'll do this. If, if Boogie can confirm, that he, if Boogie can confirm that he has polycythemia vera, um, and he actually oh. has like a doctor confirmation of the blood cancer, I'll throw five thousand dollars towards his medical treatment. I'll make that personal pledge right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're not seeing my medical records for 20, not for 50. You're not seeing my medical records. It's funny that Boogie mentions the number 50,000 is what he climbed up to because over the few days of this controversy kind of hitting the internet, multiple streamers and YouTubers and personalities got up to $75,000 just if Boogie would, would post proof of him actually having cancer. Now keep in mind, this is the same Boogie that was in a documentary about how bad his life is falling apart and how broke he is because nobody watches his videos anymore. This is the same boogie that a few weeks ago from the time of all of this made a $10,000 crypto scam to his own fans because he had no money. But in the face of $75,000, enough to change 90% of American lives, he says no. He's not going to show just the simple, on his medical portal, the simple words, polycythemia vera, for 75 grand, he says no. I don't get it. You leave your own medical history, but you won't, you won't leave just Remember, okay, so then I just want people to remember in the future then when Boogie says I have to do XYZ scam to raise money because my medical bills are hurting so much He can speak publicly about his medical issues to scam his fans to raise money But he can't take five thousand dollars to privately confirm a diagnosis that he already publicly Cook. said that he has doesn't Cook. make any sense But Cook. okay, you know, there's a, a big history of people I guess scamming people with cancer and it's like the worst of the worst and you're getting confronted sure. with that right now when your response yep. to that is yep. not uh Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not. I'm not Go going ahead. ahead. I'm just. Sure. I'm, I'm explaining Go to you. Go ahead. Go right the fuck ahead. I'm not. I don't care. I'm, what am I? I'm not going ahead with anything. You're trying to. He's speaking to you. No, I'm saying. Run, I'm trying to explain to you why. Story. Why we're in this situation is just that. Boogie, people view this as one of the lowest if things, you, right? You, it's about as bad as it gets. You have polycythemia vera. Why aren't you just trying to disprove it other than them making you look like you're? I guess two years ago. For I guess two years ago. I'd rather that. Then the, why, why would the you last that? That's so stupid. This is the last thing I have is my medical records. All right, do you care about this anymore? If I hand this over, oh, if I hand this over, off. I've given over no, literally every goddamn thing. They'll, they'll what if you give it directly to Destiny himself? I'm, I mean, this it's is funnier if we just hang up on them. Medical records oh, all Destiny, had he, it, it And you know what? This might have turned out differently had he messaged me the night before. And we had He wouldn't have nagged him for a whole night not to come out. Why leave the whole medical history not just the confirmation? 
Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I have no okay. idea. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, cool. We'll see you guys Take later. Care, Jesse. Thanks for Bye. coming out. Thanks, man. Good night, guys. Yeah. To be plenty fair, proof, there's still plenty of proof in the portal. Boogie, boogie, there's still boogie. blood tests. Boogie, that show I'm my not going to fire you. Portal. I'm not going to fire you. I'm not going to fire you. You admitted it. It's not in the portal. It is what it is. There's, I've been treated here, here, for, here, for here's years. Here's the thing. There's plenty of Listen, let me talk. Let me fucking talk. Let me fucking talk. You've been talking for two hours. Let me talk for a second. No, I've been getting screamed at and just saying no yeah, but, over yeah, and over. Let yeah, Wings talk. Let Wings much. talk. Wings hasn't talked. Go ahead, Wings. You, you, you. I forgot my point. I'll just go ahead and let Boogie talk. I forgot what I was going to say. Isn't my, <laughs> it is in my medical charts. My brother has seen it. <laughs> Call me a liar all you want. And yes, I could. If I wanted to lie here, I would just take a screenshot of the portal and fucking add it on in, in a goddamn editor. I could hire somebody from another country to make it look perfect. I forgive you. I mean, in all fairness, there is some truth to what Boogie's saying here. Even if you were to show the most coveted looking medical portal in the world that says per batum that Boogie has polycythemia vera, the first thing content creators would say is, I bet it's Photoshop. Or I bet Keemstar paid to protect his brand to get, you know, a diagnosis that looks real. You know, something like that. that of course, that would happen because it's the internet. So I have to agree with Boogie. Now, had he posted it on day one, like everybody was asking when Destiny originally confronted him, him, that would be a lot different because if he was like here boom here you go it's clear as day it's right there but in four days i mean you could hire the best website designer to make you a whole like fake medical portal just to show you have polycythemia vera in four days so uh, i think our chance of just getting a simple screenshot is completely out of the question listen four days ago i put out a theory that your doctor told you he thinks you have this and you rushed to the internet you made the video the same day this was my theory and that's what happened. It's in my medical charts. Four days ago, he it said that he saw polycythemia poly vera but, on but the But he list. didn't. But he Today didn't. he doesn't. He didn't. He didn't. That was Today wrong. He doesn't. Can I, four days ago. I'm going to play, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. He still might have the cancer. Exactly. Which I do. Done all exactly. The which I fucking do. Exactly. But which you're right. The, the problem is, is you've made us sit here nine hours to get the answer that we knew in hour one. No, that, you, I've given you the answer the whole nine hours, which is I no, have the fucking cancer. I'm being treated for the cancer. It's expensive. No, 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 no. I told you that a million times. That's the truth. The only thing I didn't tell you is it's not in the portal. And again, if I wanted to lie to you, I would have just photoshopped something instead. I'm fucking telling you over and over and over again. It's only First in my all, medical charts, and I will not share my medical charts. I fucking said this a hundred times. Times. It's only in my medical charts, Calm and down. I will not send my medical charts. Calm down. First off, you guys are going to expect me. No, I'm in the middle of a goddamn fucking uh, anxiety attack. I'm in the middle of... I, I, I don't have to fucking calm down. Stop. Breathe in. Yeah, breathe like, out. Like, Let like, Just listen to wings. Yeah, Don't talk. Go on mute. You, you, you most likely have the cancer, right? But you haven't done through all the steps, so you can't say you have the cancer or not, right? Exactly. And, and I find it very hard to believe, and I'm not willing to disbelieve it's that three fine, doctors Boogie. Stop you said freaking diagnosed out. you. No, that's why it fucking None of them sucks. wanted to put it oh, in the that, chart. That's why it fucking sucks that you that I'm getting called by all my favorite fucking creators a liar when I'm not fucking lying. You and lied not... one and a half years ago about a diagnosis. No, I didn't because he fucking see. told me. My doctor fucking told me I have cancer. God damn it. It's in my fucking medical charts. My brother's fucking seen it. What is the fucking lie? My girlfriend sat there while he fucking said it. My brother's seen my medical charts. My friends have taken me to fucking visits where they took my fucking blood. It's all right. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Now we got to why we can't see the records. It's fine. Just calm down. The diagnosis. You're my entire medical up. records today. Fuck you. Nobody's asking you to never see Chad. Your you will never record. see my medical records. I don't records. want to see Chad. You, show like you can't yes, even do that. Now you, and now you'll say you it's Photoshop. Show show that. That. Don't again. Jesus Christ. I won't show that. Why list, why the list he read off in his documentary was the exact same in chronological order to when he read it out live on the show a few days ago, oh. with the exception of the yep. edit uh the thing vera because i had no intention of putting it in the documentary i did not want it i regretted talking about it to begin with 
It kept coming up on the show. I regret talking about Why it. Why was it here. the one diagnosis you regret talking about the most? Not the other ones. Not the what, hundreds of other ones. Who gives a shit about the other ones? So a couple of good points are raised here. One, Mudahar is asking why that's the one like sacred thing that you wouldn't have talked about because uh, in the past few days, Boogie has shown how important it is truly to him that he doesn't talk about polycythemia vera, but he's used it as an excuse to scam people. He's used it as video views. He's used it as Twitter impressions, but why would he not mention it in this important, well-made documentary that he's so open about literally everything else in his life, including very personal stuff, but this is the one thing, the, the, the arguably most important thing right now that he's super against showing. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. On the day, I literally had a gut reaction. I got off the phone with my fucking doctor. I came in here and recorded the video, and I immediately regretted it. That's why you I just recorded the video because you me. knew that your last video Listen got 15k views. This one got 200,000. No, after that got 15k views one yeah. video doesn't make you fucking famous anymore and i wasn't fucking trying and yeah, listen you're desperate, what, listen though. what is on that fucking channel right now did i monetize the video i don't believe i did what did i do i put a fucking fundraiser for other fucking people i believe it was saint jude's cancer hospital and i said since the beginning if you give a shit about my cancer don't give me the money give it to saint fucking jude's but boogie does ring a little bit of a good bell when he says i didn't monetize the video and i put a fundraiser in it for St. Jude's, which I checked, and and it is true. To try to beat How cancer, how much does it cost to get the bone marrow test? How much does it cost? I don't know. I have insurance. It's we'll anywhere have between. It it's oh. anywhere between a thousand and four thousand. I already looked it up. So, okay. with your insurance, it's probably going to cost you around five hundred, right? With the copay. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. So just. Well, well now we do it. Well, let's do it. Let's schedule well, it. Well, we're, we're, we're going to do the other ones first. We're going to look for the colon. I don't know why paper. anybody would spend a dime yeah. with this at this point. It's so I, I, obvious. I'm, I'm, over here about I'm, I'm, I'm over here about to suggest that the local live will pay for this fucking bone marrow test. No. No. no I don't want that. No. Enough of I that want fucking this. shit. I will, I will pay I for it for the magic cards themselves. Right now. Hey, think of it. It's, it's content, Tommy. You'll pay for it. So. No. Yes, I'm glad okay, to pay absolutely. for it. By the way, not. Tommy, just so you know, I like boogie help. faking cancer has made us probably about 10 grand. So I think we can put in $500 to pay for it. Yeah, the same no way I've never not. done a GoFund. And I mean, this just shows you why everybody's so invested in this on the Locale Live. $10,000 for this juicy drama, I mean, kind of speaks for itself. I think Boogie's a complete liar, and I don't think he should be on this show. I think if you guys continue to pay him, you're supporting somebody that would blatantly lie oh, about the most wild thing on the show. Hundred percent. No, I feel I feel like if you let Boogie on the show, you are supporting somebody that would blatantly lie about one of the most emotionally like destructive things in any society. That's where I'm at, at least. And it's not I think just you, me I saying it. It's not just me saying it. I'm sure you can get the same opinion out of Charlie. You get the same opinion out of Coffee. I, I, I can get the same out opinion out of anyone, but mute exactly. it. Mute it. mute it. This is Lolka mm. Live. He's a I know. Fucking I know. And Lolka. you know what? It's better to it's better to replace him with like Review Tech USA or somebody else that's more like I know, but that's what there are limits. Do. That's it. Well, I mean, like, there are just certain limits that people have. It kind of speaks a little bit about Keem's character, as this is the first time he's super distraught about it, when Muda brings up the obvious about, hey, if you if you keep Boogie on, if you if you keep him on the show on payroll, it's supporting somebody who's lied about having cancer, and that makes Keem uncomfortable, because the sentence he just said before this, that the show has made $10,000 off of this drama. He doesn't want to lose this cash cow, and Boogie regularly gives them stories to talk about, and, and reactions to put on YouTube and stuff. I gotta agree with Muda, and I'm not even super into cancel culture. I don't think they should kick him off the show, but I do think keeping him on the show is, by definition, supporting through payroll somebody that's done these terrible things. Just like, I don't know if they paid him, but they had Cyrax on the show, and Cyrax has been a known predator for a long time. Have cancer. Boogie, Boogie, one, please one, stop. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, I had to get rid of them for a second. Um... Okay. Wings, go ahead. Go ahead. I think I think Mood is being very unfair with this because there's a good chance that Boogie might have the cancer. He just doesn't have it documented. And Boogie wants to like lie to cover up lies. Like the whole thing, oh, it's not on my it's not on my portal, it's on my medical chart. That's not gonna happen. You're not gonna go to three doctors and get three diagnoses and none of them update the portal with your diagnosis, especially when it's usually updated within minutes of something happening. It's usually automated. My wife had diabetic, uh, diabetic acid ketosis uh, in January of this year. 
and I was sitting in the in the emergency room with her. And as the blood work was coming in, it was hitting her portal, and I could see her blood work right then and there. It's not something that takes days or to update it. The systems are almost automated at this point. Um, I did. I just feel like Boogie himself. He spends too much effort in lying, and he's ready to like. One foot in the grave, let's take the plane and nosedive it anytime a problem actually arises. Yep. If he was just honest right at, right at the beginning of it, we could have worked through this. And I think we should still work through this and get his bone marrow test done, even if Lokal has to pay for it. Because it's better to know than to just wonder and just continually to lie over and over again. <sighs> I'm put in a really shitty situation. What what are you thinking? Uh, put put your put your messy brain there, thoughts out there. Wings, there's so much pressure on me to kick him off the show. Like I like first of all, I'm like against this cancer culture shit, and like I don't see it black and white. Like this is some scammer out there, like trying to con people that he has cancer. I see it as fucking stupid, mentally ill, fucking boogie, who always loves to be a fucking victim, who can't help himself from telling white lies constantly, right? Who gets told, right. hey, you have the indicators that it could be this cancer, and without any confirmation, runs to the internet and tells them. That's how it, I say it, I don't it, see it as, it, like, here, fucking... It, here's, here's some pro-Boogie rhetoric right here for you. Boogie didn't start a GoFundMe. Boogie didn't ask anybody to pay for his cancer. He made a video that made, like, $120 out of 250,000 views. So it wasn't very, very monetized, if at all, Right. And, like, for the most part, yeah, there have been issues where he's like, oh, my cancer, this cancer. Yeah, he tried to use cancer to get out of, like, a, a episode with me and Tommy one week or some shit like that. I, I don't I don't see him as using it as a way to make money. And there's still a good chance he has it. He just hasn't done all the tests needed to do it. But there's also that chance you, he does the test and it comes back he's never had it at all. And he just had a really bad, a really bad case of sleep apnea. I just, I can't, I don't want to fire him. I don't want to kick him off the show. And that might destroy the show. Everyone might, might fucking hate the show now and not want to support the show. I mean, d dude, what Muta is saying is true. Do you know how many people out there have lost family members to cancer? And this thing that Everybody. Boogie did, even though I can see it for what it is, he's just an idiot, right? That hurts a lot of people. Like, people are, like, fucking devastated and hurt by this shit. And see, I'm kind of conflicted because obviously Keemstar and Wings are just making excuses as to why it's, you know, reasonable to keep Boogie on the show instead of kicking him off. But uh, it's obviously just for their own gain, right? It's not, like, valid. Or, like, this is why it's okay or whatever. It's it's because they need Boogie on the show because Boogie makes them money. Well, if it's up your ass, that means, that means you, if it's up your ass, that means you're at stage four. You're a, you're a dead man walking. By the anyway. way, do you guys know I am a cancer survivor already, right? Before Most this, people I are, had Boogie. cancer let, let, before. Wait. This is my second cancer, you guys wait, realize. Wait, no, I did so not can know I have that. The money? I did yes, I had, I had skin cancer. I had basal cell carcinoma. 25 years old. That's in my medical records. I read that shit to you the other day. I'll follow that. I'll screenshot that. I'll fucking prove. It's going to have the money now. Can I have oh the money God. now? Can I have the money now? No, oh, for, an old, for an old cancer? Get the fuck out of here. You no, I'm just saying. Everything you're saying I, I'm is just, just unbelievable. I'm, no, I'm just you saying. You just made it more unbelievable than it was before. And this video here, this specific clip, is why I think he's lying out of his ass. Uh, obviously, there's my opinion. But because he says, I, I had this provable documented cancer a couple years ago, which was skin cancer, and I'll gladly send it out and show it, but he won't show the active one that he's using as a excuses to to scam right like that's the that's the crazy part to me is he's so confident because he had a legitimate cancer that was documented he's so confident to show that but he can't show the one that everybody's interested in because for some mysterious reason this is this is the the sacred one this is the one that nobody can see it it just makes absolutely no sense but as of now boogie has still not shown any sort of 
proof of the matter and I don't think he ever will especially because he was offered $75,000 and if he actually had it the desperate boogie would have no bounds of privacy stopping him from $75,000 boogie I, I think you understand how severe this is right but it's a very complex thing of course you're fired you have to be fired you like you are fired you are fired. You have to be kicked off this fucking show. This is crazy. This yeah, is so fucking bad. And I have sympathy for you. I actually do. And I know a lot of people don't. They want you dead. But I do because I understand how complex this is. I truly do. But like, this is like, this is so fucking bad. I don't even have other words than just bad, 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 bad. And I know that you're not evil. I know you're just, fuck, I don't even have a better word for this. You're retarded. You're I mean, retarded. That's, like, like that's the I, word. I just, that's the word I use. Uh, so you have to, you have to be fucking fired. I mean, this is not black and white. It's not like you fucking ran and did like a fucking, I got cancer scam and ran a GoFundMe when you never had it. Like that's not, it's not like you did something like that. We're not talking about fucking evil. All right. Right. We're talking about a retard. Um, so I, I feel like even though you're fired and you're going to be gone for a while, um, you should have some type of pathway back. Let me know in the comments if you think you did it or not. That's going to be all for me, and I'll see you guys next time.